What's up, folks? This is your boy, Darko. Welcome to another edition of Kindles and Kicks. Today will be a quick video because I'm participating in the Girl Scout Cookie Challenge. And if you haven't heard of it, it's a booktube tag where you're provided all the flavors of the Girl Scout cookies. And with each flavor, there's a prompt you have to answer. That's book related. I was tagged by my homie, the mild rumpus. And so here are my answers for each flavor. Check it out. The first one, Trefoils. A classic novel you love. Hands down, Ender's Game. One of the first sci-fi novels I read and still to this day, my favorite standalone science fiction novel ever. I love this book. I've read it several times and continue to read it and will continue to read it until the day I die. Next one, Lemon Ups, a book you find inspiring. For me, James Baldwin's A Fire Next Time. The first time I read this book, I was probably in my early 20s. I was gifted it by from a mentor it just so resonated with me as a black man in america i often revisit this book and every time i read it i find something new and even more inspiring than i did before love this book not only my favorite baldwin book but one of my favorite books ever next s'mores a comforting book for me harry potter and the goblet of fire it's my favorite book in the Harry Potter series and the one I have reread the most. I just love Goblet of Fire. To me, that's when Harry Potter went to another level with Cedric Diggory's death, the whole journey and adventure through the maze. And I mean, the movie doesn't even compare to the book. The book was just crazy. And the ending with Voldemort, I mean, that's when... That's when stuff hit the fan with Goblet of Fire. So it is definitely my favorite and most comforting book in the Harry Potter series. Next one, Adventure Fools. Adventure Fools is an adventurous book. For that, I picked Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson. Much like Ender's Game, it's one of my first sci-fi novels that I ever read and probably I'd say my third favorite, maybe my second. I'm not sure. It's between that and Neuromancer, but we'll get into that another time. I need to do like a top 10 science fiction novel list. But yeah, for Adventure, Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson. Love that book. It's crazy. Cyberpunk. And not another one I often reread. Next, Samoas, a book that blends two or more genres. For that, I got to give it to my man, Mark Lawrence, with the book that wouldn't burn. That novel was insane. One of my top reads from last year. It blends every genre I can think of. Sci-fi, fantasy, mystery, romance, horror, like name any genre of literature and it's in the book that wouldn't burn. So shout out to Mark Lawrence for crafting such an amazing and wonderful and engaging story that I can't wait to read again so I can read the next book. Now, next one, Dosey Doze. Dosey Doze is a book that everyone hates, that I love, and then a book that I love that everyone hates. Okay, so for a book that I hate, that everyone loves and hate is a very strong word here. This is a book that I'm just kind of lukewarm on, but people just rave about it. And that's Hyperion by Dan Simmons, which I know was odd because I actually have a hard copy of it on my bookshelf because I do want to reread it again. But the first time I read it just didn't click with me. By the time I got to the end, I was just happy the stories were over. I mean, some of the POVs were great. Some of them were boring as I don't know what, like for real. So honestly, I'm just sad to say that I did not like Hyperion. However, I do plan to revisit it because there have been times on occasion when my first opinion of a book was wrong. 
And when I read it again, I enjoyed it tremendously. So may happen with Hyperion or may not. So a book that I love, that everyone hates, and again, hate being a strong word here, is Speaker of the Dead by Orson Scott Card, which is the next book after Ender's Game and the Ender's Saga. A lot of people, they overlook this book, they dismiss it or they dislike it, but I really love the Speaker of the Dead almost just as much as I love the Ender's Game. I mean, I know it's like a huge turn from like the military sci-fi Ender's Game and it's more philosophical and goes deep into Ender's journey of self-discovery after the events in Ender's Game. However, it has some very interesting and intriguing concepts that I think should be explored more in military science fiction and war stories in general. However, not going to go too much in it. I just think people should read Speaker of the Dead more. And I think us Ender's Games fans should like stop telling people skip the second book because to me, I love it. Now, next one is... Thin Mints, and you have to give one of your all-time favorite books. So for this, I had to pick The Stand by Stephen King. One, because Stephen King is one of my favorite authors of all time. Two, because The Stand is quite possibly my favorite book of all time, of any genre, at least at the moment. I haven't read it in several years. I used to read it quite frequently, but I know everyone complains about Stephen King's ability to stick the landing, but I just love the stand and the characters and the journey throughout the entire novel, specifically the extended edition. So the stand to me is a great book and one of King's best. All right. So that was my list. The last flavor is tag alongs and you got to tag some booktubers to participate in this. If you just want to participate, even if no one has tagged you, if it seems fun to you, please, by all means, do it. I want to see your video. All right. This your boy Darko. Like, comment, subscribe. This is Kindles and Kicks. See you next time. Peace. Hello. This is Kayla.